So, you have a new Batman movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I'm thinking we make this the darkest Gotham yet. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're gonna make it seem like this city passed some kind of weird one light bulb per household law. Sounds very dark. You know it, sir, because we gotta make these movies darker and darker and darker and darker. That's just good business. How do you figure? Well, sir, we keep going like this. Pretty soon people will pay to see a completely dark screen, and we could play some kind of Batman audiobook or something. Oh, that will save us a ton of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who are you thinking for Batman? Oh, I was thinking we get Robert Pattinson. Oh, I see what you're doing. Twilight, vampire, vampire, bat, bat, man. Very clever. Actually, no, it's just because he turned into a real good and accomplished actor since the Twilight movies. Good time? I'm enjoying myself, sure. That's... never mind. All right. So anyway, as Batman, he's gonna be dark and brooding, right? Okay. But then as Bruce Wayne, he's gonna be brooding and dark. You need that dichotomy, yeah. Yeah, and he's gonna have dark eyeliner and hair in front of his face and say stuff like, you're not my dad, like it's 2006 or or something. Nice. And this guy's Batman suit is totally bulletproof. I mean, bad guys just unload machine guns onto his chest and he's not affected in the least. Yeah, so I guess his mouth must be covered too, right? Otherwise they could just aim at that. No, that's completely exposed, but nobody's gonna shoot at that part. Why not? Because that works. So who's he going up against in this movie? Oh, several bad guys, sir. The main one of which is the Riddler. Oh, that guy riddles, sir, does, sir. So he's going around killing corrupt people in power and leaving little riddles for Batman. Oh, I bet he is. So then throughout the movie, movie, Batman's gonna look at these riddles and then solve them pretty much immediately. Nice. But sometimes he doesn't solve them immediately, and that means he's gotta go stand on a rooftop with Gordon or Catwoman for an extended period of time. That makes sense. So he's gonna start digging around Gotham's criminal underground, right? Getting to know the sketchy figures and stuff. Who are we talking about here? There's friggin' Carmine Falcone, and then there's the Penguin, who's Falcone's right-hand penguin. Oh, we got Penguin in the movie. What's he gonna do? He's gonna be like, hey, oh, what are you doing? A very Italian-American flightless bird. That's right, sir. So obviously I was thinking we get Colin Farrell to play him. What? Yeah, just cover the guy in so much makeup and prosthetics that even after people Google it, they're still like... Really? All right, I mean, I guess we could do that, sure. And so eventually Riddler's gonna attach a bomb around the neck of this corrupt DA and send him to a funeral of the mayor who he also killed. Uh-oh. Yeah, and this bomb ends up exploding right in Batman's face. Uh, he didn't know it was gonna blow up? No, he did. There was a clear timer on it, so. So he didn't take cover? Not even a little, so he goes flying backwards. Wow, well, I guess that's gonna hurt the exposed bottom of his face. Not even a little, but he is knocked unconscious. Ooh, that's gotta be a pretty severe concussion. Nope. So then the police bring him to the police building, you know, where you bring injured people? So they unmask him? They don't, no. So then he manages to escape by gliding off the top of their building and smacking into a little bridge thing. I mean, that's got to be a pretty severe concussion, too. No, no, no. Okay. So then eventually Batman thinks that Penguin is this informant that he's looking for, right? So he chases him down and a bunch of cars and trucks explode. It's gonna look very cool. Oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy intense. But then turns out it wasn't him. You know, that wasn't the informant. So all those people in the exploded cars died so Batman can follow an incorrect hunch? That's right. Uh, whoops. Whoopsie. And so later Batman's gonna have this conversation with Falcone and Falcone's gonna be like, hey, did you know your dad paid me to kill a journalist back in the day? Did you know that? Oh man, that's gonna shatter Batman's world. It does. So then Batman goes to confront Alfred about this and Alfred's like, oh yeah, no, that's not true. Oh. Yeah, it turns out the crime guy was lying. That checks out. Yeah, glad that was resolved. Resolved immediately. Yeah. So what else happens? Well, eventually Batman's gonna figure out that Falcone Falcone, you know, the bad guy. Yeah. He's gonna figure out that he's the bad guy. Right. So he brings him out of this gangster club called the Iceberg Lounge, and when he's under this streetlight, Riddler snipes him. Oh. Yeah, and turns out that's exactly what Riddler wanted Batman to do, because earlier there was a clue about bringing someone out into the light. That was referencing this exact streetlight? It was, yeah. Oh, very vague and also specific. Yeah, because he later Riddler's like, there was no way for me to kill that guy otherwise, you know? He's never out in the open. Oh, okay. Except for the very public funeral there were both that earlier in the movie. What? And so yeah, then Riddler's in jail and Falcone is dead. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Sounds like a great movie. Oh, <laughs> we're not done, sir. Oh, we're not. No, no, no. It's gonna feel like maybe we should be, but we're gonna keep going. Oh. Yeah, see, Riddler actually kind of thought he and Batman were working together. Okay. And there's this whole other layer to Riddler's plan. Like, he has a group of followers online that he's been scheming with. What's the plan? Flood the city and shoot a bunch of people. Oh my god, that escalated so much from killing gangsters and crooked politicians. It 
did, yeah, because we gotta end these on big set pieces. I guess we do, yeah, so how does Batman figure this out? Well, see, Batman figures out that one of Riddler's murder weapons is this tool you use to tuck in carpets. How does he figure that out? Well, he happens to run into a cop who happens to start talking about how he happens to have an uncle who works in a carpet business. Oh, very specific uncles are tight. They sure are, sir. So now Batman looks under this carpet and finds the specifics of Riddler's plan. Oh boy. So now Batman's gotta rush to this arena and fight some Twitch commenters. What? Yeah, and it's pretty serious. They're in Riddler cosplay and stuff. It doesn't sound too serious. But it's gonna be, and Batman's gonna get a shotgun blast to the chest. But he's got his completely bulletproof suit, right? So it doesn't hurt him? Yeah, this time it does. So he's like, ow, 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 ooh, stop, ow, ow, ow. But there are still a bunch of cosplayers around. Wow, okay, so I guess it's gonna be pretty tough to get out of that situation, huh? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, cause see, Batman's got some green juice. Well, like a smoothie? No, it's like an injection, and it gives him a real good boost. So what was that? Unclear. Oh, okay, well, good that he had it. Definitely. So then he's beating up one of the cosplayers, and the cosplayer's like, my name is Vengeance, which is what Batman calls himself. Oh, freaking nickname stealer. Yeah, so Batman kind of stopped, and he's like, whoa, I guess I sure learned a lesson here today. Yeah, yeah, sure sounds that way. But then there's this big electrical wire flailing around, and people are gonna get electrocuted because there's water everywhere. Oh, no. Yeah, so Batman selflessly cuts the wire and gets electrocuted and falls from super high up. Oh, my God, is he okay? Yep. Oh, yeah, he's fine. So, okay, so good. Totally okay. So then he takes a flare and he guides a bunch of people out of this flooded area into, I guess, another flooded area because, you know, everything's flooded. A very underwater Gotham. Yeah, and then we'll tease a new Joker because we kind of have to. We kind of have to. And then Batman and Catwoman kind of ride their motorcycles next to each other and kind of split off like it's the end of a Fast and Furious movie. Oh, it sounds like a great movie. Wait, is it done now? Yeah, three hours later it is. Yeah. Great. Well, it'd be nice to have a good cinematic experience, you know? It seems like every Everything is just streaming shows these days. That's so true, sir. It will be nice. And then you know what we can do if it's a success. What's that? Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. And welcome to the new pitch meeting channel. It still looks like YouTube, it's not that different. And if you hadn't noticed or heard, pitch meeting is on a new channel, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Unless you don't want to, in which case, don't do that. I. Don't do anything you don't want to do. But it'd be cool if you did, and I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.